The next section of this video describes the use of the fuel flow option. If you do not have this option, you may choose to fast forward to the following section. The EDM 700 fuel flow option uses the known quantity of fuel aboard and keeps track of all fuel consumed. For fuel calculations to be accurate, it is imperative that you enter into the EDM 700 the correct amount of fuel aboard the aircraft. The fuel flow option provides up to seven additional parameters in the indexing sequence. These are time to empty at the current fuel burn rate displayed in hours and minutes, fuel flow rate in gallons per hour, total fuel used since refueling or accumulated since the last time the total was reset, fuel remaining in all tanks. If you have your GPS interfaced to your EDM 700, you will have the following additional information. Fuel required to the next GPS fix. The fuel reserve you will have upon reaching the next GPS fix. And nautical mile per gallon based on current ground speed and fuel burn rate. You have a choice of three parameter indexing options as selected by the three position toggle switch mounted near the face of the instrument. This switch setting does not affect the alarms. Any alarm, such as an over temperature alarm, will immediately display the alarm message regardless of the switch setting. The EGT position will display only temperature related parameters and bus voltage. The FF position will display only the fuel flow related parameters and the ALL position will display all parameters. The fuel flow option does not affect the bar graph display. When you first turn on the EDM 700, you will be asked if you filled, added or removed fuel from the tanks. If you tap STEP, your answer is no. You have not changed the amount of fuel on board. If you have added fuel, tap Lean Find. You will see the total capacity of your main tanks. If you have an auxiliary tank, tapping Lean Find again will show total fuel capacity of both main and auxiliary tanks. If you top your tanks, you now have the displayed amount of fuel in the aircraft. Tap Step. If you added or removed fuel, tap Lean Find a second time and you will see Fill Plus. Tap Step and you will see Add, then the value zero. If you added fuel, hold Lean Find and the amount displayed will increase. If you overshoot the amount, simply tap Lean Find to return to the correct amount. Tap Step when you're finished entering fuel information. The EDM 700 has programmable alarms. When a parameter exceeds its normal range, the digital display will flash with a value and abbreviation of the alarming item. When an alarm is displayed, tapping Step will temporarily delete that parameter from the indexing sequence for the next 10 minutes. When an alarm is displayed, holding step until the word off appears will delete that parameter from the indexing sequence for the remainder of the flight. Look for a uniform rise of about 50 degrees in single magneto operation. A fouled plug will show up as a sharp reduction in EGT. You should see a uniform rise and fall of EGTs when recycling the mixture control. Be alert for abnormal bus voltage, cold oil temperature, or high CHTs. During takeoff, check that the EGTs and CHT are consistent with past climbs. EGTs will be slightly cooler due to fuel cooling. Be alert for a high EGT in one cylinder, 300 degrees higher than the others, indicating a plugged injector or leaking manifold gasket. In cruise, be alert for uneven EGTs or CHTs in carbureted engines. Make fine adjustments to throttle, then RPM, then mixture to level the display columns as best you can. In descent, manually select the shock cooling display to track it during your letdown.
Rates of minus 40 to minus 60 are normal. There is an engine diagnosis chart in your EDM 700 pilot's guide. This chart will tell you specifically what may be causing an anomalous display. You can customize the display of your EDM 700 from the pilot seat. If you have fuel flow, set the toggle switch to the all position. To begin, hold both buttons for 5 seconds. You will see the word program followed by the rate number. The rate is the number of seconds the display will stop at each parameter in the automatic indexing mode. To increase the number, hold the Lean Find button. To decrease the number, repeatedly tap the Lean Find button. Normally, EGT is displayed to 10 degrees resolution. To change this to 1 degree resolution, tap Lean Find to display EGT1 Yes. Notice that the least significant digit is no longer always a zero. At the completion of the pilot programming procedure, tap Step when you see End Yes. If you want to review the procedure again, tap Lean Find to select End No and Step through the program again. To change the alarm limits, you must simultaneously hold both the STEP and LF buttons for 5 seconds until you see the words PROGRAM. Then tap STEP repeatedly until you see END Y. Again, simultaneously hold both the STEP and LF buttons for 5 seconds. You will see FACTORY LIMITS followed by FAC NO. If you want to restore the factory program default limits, change the NO to a YES by tapping Lean Find. Then tap Step. Set each alarm limit by holding or tapping Lean Find to change the value. Holding Lean Find increases the value. Tapping Lean Find decreases the value. Tap Step to move to the next alarm limit. With the EDM 700 acting as a flight engineer, you can enjoy improved fuel economy, reduced maintenance costs, and extended engine life. JPI is a leader in precision engine performance monitoring. Our expertise is built into the EDM 700. Our patented technology provides the alarms, displays, and sampling algorithms that give you hands-free, must-know information. JP Instruments is delighted that you selected the EDM 700 for your aircraft. We invite you to call us if you have any technical questions.